I wasn't expecting to make a second YouTube video today, but looks like there is some fire news and uh, some of my predictions from the previous videos actually came true. So let's get straight into it. There is a new Reddit post from Nikita on Tarkov Reddit, uh, posted 15 minutes ago. Update on the current situation. Let me quickly move my camera to the top right so you can see all of the text. And uh, let's I'll, I'll read it out for you, share my thoughts and um, yeah, let's see what it's about. Hello again. Let me clarify the situation in a little more detail regarding owners of EOD version and the access to the cooperative mode and also other issues. First of all, PV game mode is not a DLC. DLC in our understanding is the major additions to the game including various functionality and content that are released after the official release of the game as a themed DLC pack. Skev Live DLC for example, which will add a lot of new mechanics and content for Skev gameplay and leveling. Uh, I guess uh, it's a very hard, it's a very important stance for DLC to say that the new PvE game mode is not a DLC. I firmly believe the new PvE game mode is DLC. You don't, it doesn't matter if you, if, if, that BSG don't call it as a DLC. The whole thing is, in the past, EOD users were promised. You pay once for the game, and in the future, you get everything for free, which is not the case. This is the problem. EOD users expected everything in the future to be free. It doesn't matter if you call it a DLC, it doesn't matter if you call it a new game mode, it doesn't matter if you call it a new mechanic. The problem is, EOD users uh, will promise this for free. So, you calling it not a DLC makes no difference. Um, Alright, so at least we know the definition of DLC in BSG's uh, eyes now. DLC is whatever comes after the official release of the game. That's what they're saying. At least, at least now we know what DLC means in their opinion. Secondly, this specific functionality of the PvE mode is uh, necessarily located entirely on a separate network infrastructure. Because essentially you play on our servers only in closed mode. At this stage, it is not possible to launch all players who are EOD holders. Right now we simply do not have the required amount of resources for this. Well, at this point, I... Um, I do see where BSG are coming from. It doesn't change the fact that they um, misled or lied to EOD users in the past regarding getting all the content for free. But I do, I do feel for them because if they, even if they want to, even if they want to, they cannot do it now because they don't have the right amount of servers. So even if they want to do it now and lose a lot of money giving it to EOD users at this very moment, they still can't do it. I mean, I don't know if there is any solutions that BSG can think of. Maybe, maybe, maybe EOD users can receive PvE offline mode with progression, but without co-op mode. So you can play offline only you, only you as a solo player, um, where the server is hosted on your PC, and you still get the progress saved. Because in such way, there is no need for BSG to use their own servers uh, for EOD users to play to play in the co-op mode. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they can do it, but maybe with a bit of coding they can implement it in the game. So you just play offline, fully offline, service hosted on your PC, no friends, no nothing. You do the quest, you kill the bosses, etc, 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 yata, yata, yata. And then the progress is saved. And whenever BSG gets the capability of the service to the right level, uh, then they can open uh, uh, then they can open it for EOD users. Like, that's the best outcome I can see right now. I don't know what else they can do. All right. We observe your dissatisfaction. This dissatisf this English is tough. We observe your dissatisfaction, and we have decided that the functionality of the PVE mode will be available for free to all owners of the of EOD version at the release of the game, when the server infrastructure will be improved to the required capacity. All right, that's a good thing because before they were BG were saying that EOD users will never get the new PVE mode for free. Um, that's my notification. Uh, then they moved to EOD users will get PvE mode uh, for six months. And then if you want to keep on playing it, you have to buy it extra. And now we're moving it to you get the PvE mode forever for free after the release of the game. Uh, it's, it, 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 it's, it, it's a bit interesting to see how the, how the thing progresses. All right. Now you have the opportunity to test this mode by purchasing the unheard edition of the game. Ah, I think this is such a bad wording. Telling EOD users that you have the opportunity to test this mode by purchasing the new edition of the game. 
uh i think that's a bad that's a very bad way to phrase it it's like yo you, you still gotta buy uh, man yeah um or upgrade to this version we also decided to give a 50 percent discount when upgrading to the unheard version from the eod version all right i guess that's a benefit so right now instead of 110 dollars if you want to upgrade to the new version you have to pay 50 um 55 dollars or something but at the same time there is less benefits of upgrading to the new version because that stuff is supposed to come in EOD, just in the future. Yeah. All right. Um, we plan to send one free Left Behind Edition key to everyone who has already upgraded to the Unheard Edition at the old price from the EOD version. So BG are kind of like, all right, bro, we're discounting our new version, but people already paid full price for it. People, So Edition came out, people paid full price for it, and two days later, there is a 50% discount. How can we make them feel better? So they're giving the left behind uh, edition key to everyone. Um, I mean, to be fair, I don't know. People can give those keys um, to their friends. Still feels bad. I, I feel I feel bad for them. Um, um, I mean, I don't know, bro. Well, as I was saying, the best way would be to refund the players, but it looks like BSG cannot do the refunds. So they're giving the left behind edition key to everyone who bought the edition at the full price um, as a as a cashback, let's say. Moreover, so that any player of any version of the EFT can have the opportunity to test the PvE mode, we want to add ability to purchase a separately early access to this mode. Uh, for EOD owners, there will be a 70% discount on the purchase of the early access to PvE. It would be interesting to hear your thoughts on this idea. Um, yeah, I was talking about this. I was saying that if people were able to purchase the PvE mode separately for, let's say, $20 or so, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, like, you don't have to pay $300 for a whole pack, and you can just buy the cheapest edition of the game and uh, purchase the PvE mode for $20 or whatever. Uh, that's a great change. Well, this 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 change in specific, I think, is great. The only uh, question is, what will the price be? Because they say, for EOD owners, there will be a 70% discount on the purchase to, for early access to PvE. So, how expensive is it going to be? I have a feeling, well, it's just a random guess, but I have a feeling they're going to sell it separately for, like... $90 maybe? So if you have the base edition of the game, you will have to pay like $90 to get the PV uh, DLC that is not a DLC. So if it's not the DLC, but you can still purchase, purchase it separately, what is it? You can literally buy the base edition of the game and you can separately purchase as an add-on the PV mode for your game. And they say it is not a DLC. <sighs> Either way, I'm a little bit lost with the definitions of what is DLC, what is not the DLC, but overall, I would love to say that uh, BG are definitely moving in the right direction, uh, but this, this is still ain't it. I, I still feel like it's still ain't it. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to see that they are starting to move in the right direction. I'm really, I'm really happy to see it. I, I truly am. I love the game. I love, I love playing Tarkov. I'm having insane amount of fun playing the game, and I really... Um, I don't know, bro. The game, the game means a lot to me, and it was just sad seeing all the things happening in the past. And I'm glad that Tarkov community showed their teeth and didn't just um, eat this thing, you know. Well, I don't really have much else to say. Uh, give uh, this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about this whole thing. Uh, BG do read Twitter, they do watch YouTube, they do read uh, Reddit. So if you share your feedback down below and um, there is a chance they're going to read it, which I, which I hope for. So yeah, I guess thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's see how the story is going to unfold in the next few days and I will try to keep you updated, my dear viewers. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day.